My initial motivations uh, came from purchases I was making uh, and there was very little information about them. The products themselves uh, were pretty dreadful back in 2007, but to me it was a proof of concept um, and really just uh, an engineering problem that needed to be solved. Um, I set up the forum really to, to, to enter into a dialogue with uh, other people out there that I assumed were in a sim similar uh, situation to me, um, and it really went from there. We've seen growth in visitor numbers, uh, approximately doubling annually since the site was founded in 2007. Um, that's driven, I presume, by the, by the general interest and the frontline distribution of the products. Um, we, we seem to be reaching a, a sort of hyperbolic point at the moment. Uh, next year's anybody's guess, we're probably going to have to get new servers to cope with the traffic. Social media is already playing a big part in how e-cigarettes are discussed and understood. Um, I think that's only going to increase. Uh, many people who, who pick up e-cigarettes, perhaps in, in frontline distribution, go online to find out a bit more and almost inevitably will end up on uh, a site like mine or, or, or other online communities. There's also big Facebook presences um, and uh, I, I know that Reddit has a huge uh, e-cigarette uh, following as well. The principal market trend we're witnessing really is a sort of dividing uh, of the overall market into two industries, quite distinct. Um, one is the cigarette-like type devices that, that are ending up in frontline distribution in supermarkets, convenience stores and so on. Uh, the other is really online and dedicated vape stores, bricks and mortar vape stores, which sell the sort of second and third generation type devices, which for, for commercial reasons uh, haven't yet uh, entered into frontline distribution. E EU and UK vapors face uh, a particular regulatory uh, set of circumstances which is emanating from the process that's currently going through the European Parliament. At the moment it's anybody's guess how that's going to play out, but the online community of uh, e-cigarette users is fighting vociferously to ensure that regulations are proportionate uh, and we hope that that will uh, play out well for, for, for all of us. Um, Elsewhere in the world, mixed picture, the United States for instance, the FDA has take, taken over and they're currently looking at issuing uh, uh, their regulatory advice. Um, so a, again, you know, a different set of circumstances, but in the US as well, uh, a very mobilized uh, contingent of users uh, through the social media uh, who, who are really desperate to ensure that these products are widely available to them. The future for electronic cigarettes and for their users uh, is, is largely contingent on what happens in the regulatory picture. If regulations are kept proportionate, we'll see continual innovation, new products, better products, and more and more smokers choosing to use them. Uh, it's my honest belief that, that uh, there, won't, there, won't make, there won't be any sense uh, to, to smoke tobacco in, say, 10 years' time. Uh, these products will have evolved sufficiently that it, it will be a no-brainer. However, excessive regulation could put a stop to all of that. What have I enjoyed most about the conference? I enjoyed being able to present my, my thoughts to the industry that was in attendance. Um, it's been a great opportunity to, to meet various people uh, that, that I don't get to meet sat behind a computer screen. Uh, good, good networking opportunity and good to hear other people's opinions on where, where this is all heading.